how's it going? I'm Sammy. I'm being called to do just a rando reading. So this is just going to be for whoever it resonates with. Okay? Thank you. Let's see if we can get some messages out from Spirit. Thank you, Father, Mother, Creator, Source of all that is. Please give us clear messages. Allow me to clearly interpret these messages for the highest good of all who view this video. Please protect us. Bless this reading. Give us guidance. Bless these cards and all oracle cards that we use. Thank you. Tell me about this energy. What are we dealing with here? Okay, we're going to do one of these first. Energy Oracle. No. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't think we have a choice. Man holding a heart in reverse. The world card. Blossoming abundance, financial constraints, and magician in the mirror. So right off the bat, uh, any kind of love or romance situation, this feels like this is going to be involving love and romance. It is as though you see the possibility in a situation as far as abundance and, and the many possible outcomes in a good way. Okay, you see this as the world. Like you could, you could see yourself with this person but it's like there there's definitely a block when it comes to communicating when it comes to this male and or you feel that your feelings are not reciprocated and because there's no communication it makes it worse however you're still trying to manifest this thing whether you're in communication or not financial constraints may be the reason why uh, and you know, finances is like the top reason why people get divorced. So, this is still a very general reading. Uh, if you're having issues with uh, your, your person or a partner, or you're having issues with money, I would say, let's see where this is going. But, seems like you saw, you saw something going somewhere, and then there's money issues. Um... You saw this going a certain way and it's not going that way anymore. <laughs> it's just so funny how spirit works. I just looked over, spirit was like, use that deck. And then they all just jumped out. So we're going to go from here with the tarot. I'll still spice it up with some other oracle cards. But let's just see spirit. Tell me more about this energy of this man holding a heart in reverse. It's a, it's a, he's very, um, like, Fabio-ish. He's hot. He's cool. He has charisma. He has romance. He's surrounded by red flowers. He's holding a red heart. You know, it's a spicy sex appeal card, but it's in reverse. So I'm thinking that energy is kind of depleted for right now in that situation. And that's what tells me that communication is probably off or non-existent at this point. The world card is like, I mean, it could be an ending, could definitely be a completion. You know? Uh, so, it's like it, the things that you thought were there aren't there. And it has something to do with finances. So, either you're not where you want to be, they're not where they want to be, or someone cares too much about money. But there is a magician in the mirror here. So, this is like, think about what you could create. You, someone is still trying to manifest something here. Um, whether you're leaving a situation behind, Queen of Pentacles, 
Okay, so I think um, for those of you who, who are resonating with this reading, someone is trying to manifest abundance, okay? Someone is trying to be the provider. Someone wants to have everything, uh, and who wouldn't, right? This is still very vague in general. We're going to get further into this. But it seems as though someone thinks if they can manifest a better financial, uh, comfortable situation for themselves, then something else could work out. This abundance that they thought was there, or this world that they thought they were going to have with someone, the world is like uh, everything you could ever want. Um, in some cases. In other cases, yeah, someone's not sleeping good, okay? This is keeping somebody up at night, whether this is you or, or the person that you're dealing with. Nightmares, anxiety, fear, really. Um, let's see, tell me about this Nine of Swords. Fear about what? Yeah, insecurity, okay. Four of Pentacles is insecurity. It could be emotional insecurity, or this could definitely be about finances. So someone is really upset. They don't feel comfortable financially. And so this is definitely the financial constraints that we're looking at, whether this is you or the person you're dealing with. If someone was having a hard time understanding that, um, I mean, definitely just, it feels like you and this person are on two different pages. Because... This energy is like, one, really trying to manifest and really trying to create. And then, or it's possible that you're both trying to manifest this thing. And, um, I feel like there's two different energies. Like, the Queen of Pentacles could be you. And then the person you're dealing with could be the one that's very upset over this energy and feeling very insecure. So someone feels fine about this. That could be you or that could be your partner. It could be you that is more stressed out about this. Tell me about the man holding a heart in regards, please. Where does this love stand? Okay. Ten of Pentacles. It kind of came out sideways. But this is... Uh, this is uh, like you won the lottery, you get everything. You get the house, you get the cars, you get the husband or wife, you get the family, you get the finances. It's like everything. Ten of Pentacles is everything. Um, it did kind of come out sideways, so that could be read both ways. Where were we? Coffee time. Okay, so it seems like this person or you, or you look at this person like they're your everything. They're the answer. They're everything. You want to have everything with this person or they look at you as if you are everything to this person. Okay? Vice versa. You take it how it resonates for you. There's something blocking the connection. Obviously, it's not coming together the way that you thought. But, I mean, you or this person feel that like you could have everything together. I mean, there's more than one card that says that. So, someone is feeling very unstable. And it is keeping them up at night. Um, or just feeling very anxious, like they don't know how this is going to end. So, tell me more about this abundance. The hangman, Piscean energy. So you could be dealing with Pisces. Uh, we also have air and earth. It's like there's definitely a pause or a hesitation. Something is blocking the connection from coming through. And obviously someone has some insecurities. And there's insecurities as far as financially. But it always comes down to more than that, right? It's always more than just money. It's like feeling stable and secure because deep down, it's like you question your own value or you question your own self-worth or like, how can I make this happen for myself? And that, again, comes down to your own value. And that's why people have issues with money. 
um, because they worry about it, you know, and they cause this resistance and block and then it can't come in. So Three of Cups has just come out. So there's something interfering in the relationship, obviously. Three of Cups could be another person. I'm not getting that energy right now, but it feels like work, okay, or it's this doubt and this fear and this insecurity that has come in between you now. Um, Three of Cups is anything that interferes. It can be family members, friends, work, addictions. It could be cheating, but I don't think that. Or it could just be anything that you do. Like if your significant other likes to work out and like that somehow comes before you, you know. Anything that bothers one or both of you and is causes a feeling of disconnect. It comes in between and it interferes. So this feels really heavy to me actually. Um, so someone could really be dealing with a lot of issues surrounding their value right now. Um, it's like they see you or you see them as their everything and they and it just can't come together for some reason. And I think that's that's really bothersome. Page of Swords in reverse. This person could be watching you on social media if you're not talking. But also, Page of Swords is like not having all the information. It's really like not communicating. Page of Swords wants to think about communicating. And so Page of Swords in reverse is like not wanting to talk, actually. Both of you seem kind of detached from this. One is really worried about it. And it seems like you both are just okay with taking a pause and reflecting. There isn't enough communication. And it seems like you're both fine with that at this point. Um, not having enough information seems to be an issue here. But who is manifesting this? I mean, what is this? Magician in the mirror spirit. What is being manifested here? Thank you. Strength card. Okay, so someone's really trying to gain their charisma trying to work up something in themselves to feel better about this and to trust the universe and to try to trust that when they need something it's going to be there and try and trust that what they feel about this person is correct I feel like there's some doubts coming in that it's like they know that you're their everything right you're their answer you're their spouse you're everything that they see for themselves in the future you're everything that they want but this insecurity that's crept in seems like by way of finances is causing them to doubt the situation completely like are they my everything could i find that elsewhere could i find that alone and not trusting you know, when it comes to finances, that, like I was saying, it causes huge blockages and resistance when you're constantly worried about money, constantly thinking you don't have enough or you're not enough or you don't make enough. And then, you know, when you're stuck in that mindset of lack, it's really hard to come out of that, especially when this person feels like it's their responsibility for some reason. This person feels like um, it's their job to be the provider. So they're trying to build up this strength and trying to make something happen and manifest making something happen here. Oh. Okay, so tell me more about this spirit. What is the next step? What happens next? The lovers. Well, the lovers originally is the card of choice, okay? Otherwise, it's Gemini, and otherwise, it really is the lovers. So, depending on what comes out next. 
Seems as though a choice needs to be made. Okay, obviously somebody's going to choose whether to move forward in this theme. Uh, if they feel comfortable enough at this point. Or not, whether they choose love or not. Two of Wands is a really hopeful energy. So it could be that, yeah, this person is trying to choose love. Or they're trying to work themselves up in a way uh, that makes them feel better. But there is not enough information here. So you're working with a lot of uncertainty. So it's like they're trying to work themselves up. This could be you. You could be trying to work yourself up to a place where you feel more comfortable. But you can't. That's the point of trusting. Because there's too much uncertainty and Page of Swords reversed, there's not enough information. There's not enough communication. There's not enough that is known. So without that, you it's like you're trying to work yourself up, but you're not getting anywhere. Someone wants to choose this connection. Someone is ch someone is deciding to choose this connection. Um, and hoping hoping that the pathway becomes clear. Um, this two of wands energy is about planning. It's about planning the future. So uh, for some of you, this person is trying to plan a future with you. Two of cups on the bottom, soulmate energy. Okay, so two two. Two twos, 22. Master builder, right? Someone is definitely manifesting, trying to find a way to come together at this point and plan a future where the future is bright. The thing about this card is, and I just have to say this because it's not going to be for all of you, just for some of you. For some of you, this two of wands is this person really going back and forth whether they should move forward with you or if there's another path. So back to that hangman energy. Uh, back to that funky Ten of Pentacles sideways. It's like there's a little bit of questioning surrounding the whole thing. There's a lot of confusion happening. Um, and I just did a video today about the May All Signs. And in the collective, uh, I was talking about the energy this week. It's just mucky. It's muddy. It's yuck. It's slow moving. There is a hard, hard way connecting with anyone really um, and misunderstandings are very possible communication is slow and I just keep wanting to say yuck but I hope you know what I mean by that it's just not flowing it doesn't flow freely there's tension it feels awkward and so that is part of this energy is a lot of confusion and self-doubt and doubting this relationship it seems for many of you, this is a soulmate connection. Okay, and and it's like... It's almost like... You're... Someone's just like waiting to see how this is going to turn out. But it's not both of you. This feels very one-sided. So whoever is watching this or whoever resonates with this, it feels like you're waiting for this person to come to you. Eight of Wands, you're waiting for communication to come through. And I'm telling you by the 8th, you will have better communication. Venus enters Gemini, things will flow more freely. And you will be able to think clearer, talk, communicate clearer. And this is... Uh, Eight of Wands is clear communication or messages coming through where you hear something from somebody or somebody tells you something, okay, and or this is things start to move now. Things start to move forward because you have been in a pause for some time. It seems like whoever you're dealing with or you just don't know what to do at this point. Okay, you feel like something is in between you. There's obviously a block and it's hard for you to connect at this time. Tell me about the messages coming in, please. What messages are coming in? Knight of Swords, absolutely. So somebody is going to come in and talk about this. Okay, 
a truth comes out, something is said, it's a very clear communication, but it's action. Okay, so it's like someone comes in, whoever this is, you or your person or whatever, someone decides to take action. And they're like, okay, someone has to move this forward so it's going to be me. So they come in and they want to talk and they want to make things happen. Okay, and then it's going to be up to you for what happens next. Temperance. Okay, temperance is also about having faith. It's also about uh, pause for reflection, waiting, uh, being patient. Okay, so you guys are going to have to be patient with each other. If this is something you even want, there is someone in this connection that has doubts about it. Maybe you both do. Doubts about uh, your connection, doubts whether or not you can actually build with one another. If you can have a stable uh, life together, this is about foundation. Okay, and someone here is very protective. We have a very protective energy or someone wants to protect or nurture uh, the relationship. But temperance asks you to alchemize within, to really figure it out. What it is you want within. I mean, while you're waiting, and you can be talking to your higher guides and all that. But temperance is Sagittarian energy. But it's like working out the kinks. It's like someone wants to come in, but it's a slow thing. It's like, this might take a while. Be patient with me. Okay? And that might be what they're saying to you. It's like, I'm ready. I want you. Like, I don't want you to move on from me. But I just maybe can't give you what you want right now. Like, please just have patience. Or can we do this together? They're really trying to protect uh, this, the situation or themselves. So um, if this is you and you want to go talk to your person, be careful that you're not in a, like, a very defensive or controlling type of energy. Because that would not come out very well. Tell me about the possible outcome of this situation. Oh no! <laughs> That's just too many. Nine of Cups. Okay, wishes fulfilled. King of Pentacles. Okay, so in a perfect world, this is Spirit saying, in a perfect world, this is one of the possibilities. Okay, King of Pentacles, which could be an Earth sign, or it could just be someone who is very stable financially. So in a perfect world, you get your money right, this person gets their money right, this is a free, free person. They're not worried about money, they have everything they need, they have enough to take care of others, they're very generous. This is an earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And Nine of Cups is about a, a wish. It's about... having an energy that feels like everything you ever wanted. You know, it's not tangible yet, but it's working towards that. It's like a hope for the future. It's a wish, possible wish being fulfilled. Emotionally, it feels very good. So that's one possibility. Let's see if Spirit will give us another one. Is there another possibility, Spirit? You always have the choice, right? You always have free will. So I like to give many possibilities, yeah. In another way, someone cannot get over their insecurity. They come from a victimhood mentality. They're just not there. They're not ready. They're too immature. And when this happens, Seems like there's a hot single female on the loose. <laughs> female or male, doesn't matter. Either way, we end up with a Nine of Pentacles. Someone, I, I'm resonating with this energy together. This Queen of Pentacles might have to become this Nine of Pentacles. Okay? Not in the sense that they're moving backwards, but just in the sense of they go from caring for everyone and nurturing for everyone to just being more focused on themselves. And becoming single, that might just be a possibility for you. And so because in tarot, you're given the current energy and you're given the possible future outcomes, this is completely and entirely up to you and what you do with it. So 
tell me about the masculine in this situation. How does the masculine feel? Libra energy. Could be dealing with the Libra. The masculine could be Libra. Okay, justice. So the masculine wants justice. They want what is theirs. Okay, they want balance. They want peace. They want to come to conclusion. Unfortunately, this popped out with the Eight of Swords. So they're holding themselves back, actually. They're the ones who are really um, focused inward in a negative way. Where they feel trapped. They could feel like they want more freedom. Uh, they could feel like this isn't moving forward the way they want. They want justice, but it's not happening. And with this card, it's always it's always you doing it to yourself. It's always like fear of the unknown. Fear of surrender. Fear of letting it happen. And most times it's just you keeping yourself trapped in your own thoughts. You know, negative thinking. There is no outside force making you feel trapped. It's you. So that's the masculine. Tell me how the feminine feels. How does the feminine feel in this situation? Hmm. So the feminine is a little bit sad here. We have five of cups. She may be crying over spilled milk, male or female, whoever's the feminine energy. This person may be feeling like it just didn't turn out the way they wanted. This person may be giving up, actually. They may be feel like, feeling like they want to give up. And or they're just focused on the negative in the situation. And that explains the detachment, really. Um, if you're in a space of separation, you know, when you take a break and all you think about is the bad stuff, it's very easy to detach. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the masculine is the one who's upset. I feel like the masculine is the one who wants to figure out a way to work this out. But he's stuck in this space in his own mind of confusion. He thinks too much, first of all. I'm saying he, but masculine could be male or female. I'm getting that this this female is in a space where she uh, she feels negative about this thing. Uh, but there is Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. And look again, Two of Cups. I think that she's holding out hope for a new beginning. Whether it's with this masculine or someone else, I do not know. She's hoping for, for a new beginning with with her soulmate, Two of Cups. So I get the feeling that she just wants to be happy, obviously. She wants to feel stable and secure, Ace of Pentacles. And she wants love. Page of Wands on the bottom, New Adventure, Ace of Wands, creative, new, hot, passionate thing. And Ten of Swords. There is a lot of pain and hurt here, probably in the past, maybe um, more so one-sided. I mean, you've both been hurt, but it seems like maybe one of you has been hurt more so, and you're kind of ready to just let this thing go. You want a new beginning. Now, someone, someone is coming in, Knight of Cups. I feel like this masculine is in a huge transformation. Look at this. <laughs> The Fool, right? Brand New Beginning, Aries. Doesn't have to be with someone new. It could be with this masculine. Then we have Knight of Cups, just water. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Coming in to talk. Coming in to offer something. Some type of proposal, of an offer, of commitment, of a new stage, of a new level, or just talking, uh, confessing something. Okay, then we have Death, right? I feel that this masculine is going to come in and talk. I think that you both want to start over. Now whether she says yes or she goes elsewhere, I don't know. The death card is like 
transformation, obviously the masculine is going through something about his personal value and what he has to offer. And we have the death card here. So this is either him coming forward saying, I'm going through transformation or I'm transitioning right now. I'm going through this huge time, this same kind of temperance energy. Be patient with me. Or this is, I mean, it's possible that he comes in and tries to talk and, and it doesn't go too great and it ends. I feel that he is still weighing the pros and cons financially, planning and trying to see if he can make this happen. And then we have the world again. We started with the world and we end with the world. It's pretty amazing. I think this could be everything that you want. You're going to have to be patient with one another. Okay, the masculine, way too much in his headspace. Too much fear, too much worry, not enough trusting. So this is about trusting, being patient with each other, with the universe, letting things fall into place. Okay, someone definitely is deciding what they can do, what, what is uh, possible. And then coming forward with some type of offer. And then we have Scorpio here. We pretty much have all the signs out, so we could be dealing with anyone. But uh, then we have the world. So the world could be completion, could be an ending, could be closure, could be that's the end. The death card and then it moves to the world where the relationship ends and then you have full closure or this could really be uh, just that the the relationship transforms and you go through new stages of planning and then you end up with the world which is completion and closure and everything you ever wanted let's see let's get a soulmate one of these uh, romance angels Oh no. Okay. Spirit, tell me about this connection. Tell me about the connection in this reading, please. Uh oh. I didn't catch that. Tell me, Spirit about the connection in this reading. I'm getting kind of nervous. You may feel nervous to talk to this person or communicate with them again, or you may feel nervous, but this masculine may feel nervous about, about offering something, because they're the ones who seem to be kind of anxious about this and in their own head about this, thinking way too much about this. Spirit, tell me about the connection in this relationship, please. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So any type of self-worth, self-value self can stem from issues from childhood, you know, abandonment issues, that sort of thing. So. As you forgive your parents, or you forgive trauma and issues from your childhood, you grow with your partner and you expand as a person and you're able to love easier and more intimately and more vulnerably. Vulnerably. So definitely healing past pain and childhood pain surrounding your own value and worth and, uh, you know, fear of abandonment, that sort of thing definitely helps move forward in any relationship so I definitely think that is true in this case anything else please tell me about this connection spirit one more one more time anything else for this connection about the spirit. Whoa! You deserve love. You are lovable. So, for those of you who are upset, seems like in this situation you're both a little bit upset. Yeah, okay. Someone's thinking too much. Someone's 
not sleeping well and someone is disappointed and focused on the negative. So it's important that you both understand that you deserve love. Especially the ones who are healing these past pain and um, self-worth and abandonment type issues. You are lovable. So let it all hang out. You know? Ooh, let's get some divine love messages. Let's see. What does the masculine want to say to the feminine in this situation? What does the masculine want to say to the feminine? No, 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 too many cards off. What does the masculine want to say? <laughs> Nothing, because you're not talking to each other. <laughs> what does it? Oh my gosh. What does the masculine want to say to the feminine? That's funny. Spirit cracks me up. Tell me, would you? Speak up, masculine. What do you want to say to your feminine? I'm here. I'm right here. <laughs> you may not see me. We may not be talking, but I'm here. Let's see. What does the feminine want to say? What does the feminine want to say? Aw, will you marry me? Will you be the one I spend the rest of my life with? She's waiting. She wants to know. She wants commitment. Well, I don't know if you're going to get it, boo. I don't know that she's really asking to, to get married. I think she's questioning, will you be the one that I'm with? There's a lot of healing that needs to occur here, and that does take time and patience, and there's offers coming in, and it seems that each either have other offers or have thought about going elsewhere or thought about another path where the doubt is there and it's like, is this really for me? Is this really something I'm supposed to be doing or where I'm supposed to be for the rest of my life? So. Star bathing. So there's a lot going on here. We have white body activations, crystal grid activations, transmissions, and just activations in general. If this is a twin flame relationship, you know, you go through inner turmoil and um, you have to let go of certain things and ideals and as you get activated and as you integrate those things, your life changes and you do transform and it's like one phase at a time, one phase at a time and you're not going to be on the same page. So if you're transitioning or they're transitioning through one of those phases, it takes a lot of patience and it causes confusion on your path, on who you're around, who you're supposed to be with. We also have lifting the veil, question everything. And I feel like the masculine in this situation is, there's a lot of pausing, a lot of reflection, a lot of worry and staying up late at night, a lot of self-doubt and questioning this whole thing but I think it's much deeper than that I think it goes much deeper than just love it, if it is a soulmate connection and or a twin flame connection you spark each other's growth so it may feel like love it may feel like you're just waiting on love but in reality you're healing all these family issues you're dealing with trauma you're dealing with your childhood you're dealing with self-worth issues this is a huge transformation. And as you lift the veil and as you question everything, anything that is unaligned must go. 
that goes for beliefs surrounding your value and self-worth surrounding the material realm and how relationships go how they're supposed to go how they're supposed to feel how your work life goes and so that is a major death and transition of the ego of letting go of how you make money of having to have a certain amount of money or superficial beliefs of you know what what you're supposed to have what you're supposed to do in a relationship so definitely be patient with one another i feel that this relationship has a lot of potential you both have thought or are thinking or have doubts about the outcome. So it's important to remember that you're manifesting this with this person. There's no communication right now. When the time comes, you should communicate about what you're manifesting with one another and be on the same page so you can manifest what you really want and not miss out and not miss an opportunity. I hope uh, you got something out of this rando reading and uh, I'll see you in the next one.